Memories by Zuhilmi Zainuddin. The first time I saw the world, I can't remember. I don't remember. Was it blur or crystal clear? Just then, I was only a baby. Perhaps was cute and a bit chubby. I try to recall how I cry, smile, laugh, and all. But everything was just blurry, misty, fuzzy, and foggy. But it was a good memory for some people around me. My mom was super excited to welcome me who was most awaited. She stayed by me day and night, protected me with all her might. She told me that I'm precious, sweet and pretty, like a blush of peaches. My dad too, being in the lights. He hugged me and held me tight. To him, I was a beautiful gift. Definitely brought calm and peace. He told me this for so many times, yet I didn't see it anywhere in my mind. The first time I saw the world, I can't remember. I don't remember. Was it blur or crystal clear? Still, we should believe though. It's a memory we all know. Full with joy and love. From people we should be proud of. The first time I say a word, I can be certain when it happened, where it happened. I just can't recall the first word that I said. Was it mom or dad? Cookies or bread? Ball or doll? My hand or my head? Well, why should I bother? It's only a small matter. This question could be a joke, but still, it makes me wonder. The first time I spoke, what word did I utter? People may ask me, why pressure my own head? Stop thinking of this quickly and do something else instead. Well, deep down inside me, I want to know extremely how the words in my head increase, develop, and spread. Have you ever wondered, from baby queen to babbling, we utter more and more words. From day to day, we are learning. The first time I said a word may be a memory which is absent, yet it should be a reflection for us and all generation. The first time I went to school, aha, uh -huh, I can remember and recall. I wanted to look great and cool, so I brought my smiggle bag, bottle and all. My parents were elated too. Both of them took a day off. They accompanied me to my school. It was a day not to be scoffed. That morning, I woke up in excitement, an unusual feeling for me, a young woman. But as I walked towards my classroom, the excitement changed to small fear and gloom. I didn't know my teacher and where I was sit. What about my friends? Now I wonder, would they like me? Can we fit? I stood still for a while. Suddenly, a lady came with a big smile. Without second thought, I knew it already. She was my teacher, charming and lovely. I tried my best to walk and go, so I rushed to my parents at the door. The Courage is what I must always have. And I walk in by myself. The first time I went to school, a memory turned out so cool. The first time I met my best friend, oh my, I can vividly remember that event. One day, I tripped over my chair. I cried loudly, yet no one cared. A girl came and cooled me down. A friend like this is not easy to be found. A best friend can change a frown into a smile when you feel down. A best friend is always ready to share your sadness or happiness because they care. So they want more than a goal because true friendship they always uphold. You make me happy. You make me silly. You make me lucky. You make it cheery. You make it che You make me. You make it merry. You make it jolly, and you brought the best in me. The first time I met my best friend, a beautiful trip down memory lane. Memories are beautiful things. 
Let's music in your mind singing. Life is a process, continuous event with progress. From day to day, we grow and grow. Our first time event will be more and more. Thank you.